In this video, we are going to show you how to exchange the pilot card on your Fronius device. Please note that for every exchange of the pilot card, you also need to do the licensing process. So this is very vital to finish this process. Furthermore, we need to exchange the data source in Fronius SolarWeb, so to make sure that the new data source, so the new pilot, will forward the data of the solar system to the SolarWeb system online. So therefore, please note that at the end of this video, in the last chapter, we will show you how you can exchange the data source in your solar web system. We start with the Gen24 inverter and therefore, please make sure before open up the inverter to kill the AC switch, to kill the AC side of the inverter and to make sure that the DC switch on the inverter is on zero position. This is vital because otherwise you can't remove the cover. To remove the cover itself, we have two fast locking screws at the bottom of the device that we need to open. The cover can be then replaced from the top side. Down below, we find our cover for the data communication AC and DC side, and this can be exchanged or removed with five fast locking screws up and below. Please note for removing the cover, it can be sometimes a little bit harder to remove it. So you need to take a little bit of force because there are plastic covers down below here that ensure the IP uh, rating of the device. And therefore they can be sometimes a little bit sticky and therefore you need to remove it a little bit harder. To exchange now the pilot card, you have two screws on the left and right side of the pilot card. And furthermore, you have a separation unit to exclude the DC from the AC side and from the data communication side. So to remove the pilot card, we first up uh, remove the plugs for the data communication. Second up, we remove the screws. And last but not least, we remove the cover for the separation part with these two plastic covers left and right of the pilot. To remove the pilot card, this is just a, a component with a plug, so you just need to undo it to the bottom side and remove it from the inverter. After you have a new pilot, you can now build it in the same way other way around, so you just uh, plug in the pilot card again, fasten the screws and replace also the separation cover, place it again inside the inverter and connect your data communication plugs again. When you have closed down the device again, now you can start with the licensing process by powering up the AC side of the inverter and enter the access point of the new pilot card. Here we need to enter the, the open access point of the inverter. With this predefined IP address, you can then enter into the web interface of the inverter. The inverter detected a replacement and automatically starts with this licensing process when you enter the web interface. For this process, you need the serial number and the V code, and both of those are at the side of the inverter. You enter those two numbers and have the option to do an online or offline licensing. We now do the online licensing process. Here you enter the customer password, which you set at the first commissioning process. If you don't remember this password, you can watch the how-to video, which is linked in the video description, telling you how to reset a password. The first step is a general uh, data control here of PV system name, time zone, and so on. The second step are terms and condition, which you have to agree once, The third step is a check of the network settings. And the last step is the license activation. You are now finished with the licensing process. 
but please don't forget the last step for you is to do a software update. You can do this update via Solar Web and have linked a how-to video for you in the video description. The how-to video is called How to perform remote inverter update in Solar Web. For the last step, we still want to exchange the data source directly in Fronius Solar Web. So for that, you enter your Fronius Solar Web system where you have exchanged the pilot car and then hit the settings button. After that, you go, go to the components page and there you will find the old data source, so the old Phonius Pilot that you have just exchanged. So you click on this device and then hit the change button. Now you can input the serial number as well as the V code of your existing device that you will find on the data shield on the right hand side of the inverter. And after that, you hit the OK button and then Phonio Solar Web will gain access to the new data from the new exchanged pilot card. To sum it up, the process is like that. You first up exchange the pilot card in your device. After that, you access the licensing process and the commissioning process. And last but not least, you exchange the data source within your Phonio Solar Web system. I wish you all the best with your next pilot exchange.